Hello everybody, it is Wonderful Boy here, or Zach and Bro, and welcome to part two of my series here on Medal of Honor 2010. Now, this series is going to be a short one because I just want to give you guys a brief explanation of how to play this game uh, strategically and efficiently. So, this game in particular here, I'm playing on defense here on the map Helmet Valley. And as you guys saw from my offensive uh, video on Helmet Valley, um, I did a lot of editing because, you know, the killer first year wasn't good. At and even in this game, the killer first year wasn't that good. But um, what's really important is just giving you guys the tips because these maps all run in different ways. And you need to know how to, um, you know, secure the objective from both defensive and offensive uh, ways. So first of all, uh, I'm going to clarify a couple of things I've probably said in the offensive uh, part of the video so that you guys know, you know, how you want to do it in defensive. Now, first of all, I did talk about tanks and how uh, the people on offense have tanks to their advantage. Now, if you want to have a really good and successful defense game, uh, you really, really, really want to take out that tank immediately. The tanks are very, very... Uh, they're problematic, and I think that, you know, you guys should really just stick to the objective and really get that thing out of there because it's the last, last thing you'd be wanting to deal with. Now, the next thing you want to try and avoid when you're playing uh, defense is that you don't want the, uh, the enemy to get their score streaks. Now, that is probably one of the worst things because uh, it's really going to clean you out of the objective and now will let them quickly get it while you're respawning and you know then they're, they're already be securing the area and your team's going to have a rough time trying to go up and disarm the objective. Now the thing that I dislike mostly about defense is that well you know a lot of my teammates sit back and not you know come up and contribute. Now that's a really big problem because it's going to be really difficult to keep the objective you know clean if there's just a bunch of snipers sitting back trying to snipe other snipers and such uh, so you know we really do also need close quarter advantage on your team because it's gonna be really difficult to keep the objective clean now what else you'll need as I said in offensive is that you're gonna of course need score streaks score streaks are gonna be very 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 vital when you're playing on defense uh, because It'll allow you to clean out those people near the objective who might have planted, and it'll let you quickly go ahead and disarm it and, uh, you know, save your team. And, you know, it's just really important that you really stick with your teammates. Uh, like I said, you know, just make sure that you have team coordination. If you guys have microphones, you know, try and talk on mics um, because it really does help you when it comes to communication. Now, when it comes to this uh, map in particular, you know, this map in particular is kind of big and, you know, there's a lot, a lot of sight lines. And like I said, you don't want to be running right up the middle of the map because then you're going to be stuck in a predicament where you're just going to be shot randomly. And that's why you need to be clearing out people and run up the map slowly. Um, you know, just take it slow by slow. Make sure nobody's near the objective. Uh, you know, when you can, always RPG the objective if you have Spec Ops class or Noob Tube if you're using Rifleman. Uh, you know, throw grenades at it. Uh, just to check to make sure nobody's there, you know, keep the, the uh, objective safe and clean and, you know, it'll really help your team out uh, so that you don't have to deal with the threat of somebody just, you know, planning and then you, it's going to be really difficult to disarm. Now, another thing I want to go over is, you know, having uh, or holding down the objective, actually. Uh, so, like I said, there's different ways you probably would want to hold down the objective. Uh, first of all, I like to hold down the objective, you know, just going rush happy, trying to push them all the way back to their spawn, uh, because that's what really, you know, gets them away from the objective and just keep them covered up that way. Uh, but you guys might see it a different way. Maybe you might just sit back by the objective and get whoever is trying to get near it. That might also be a good combo. But, um, you know, I like to really just push them up all the way back to their spawn and you know make sure that they have no chance of even planning and that's what we actually do in this game we give them pretty much no chance of getting the objective because well we want to win and if that's your goal here then of course that's why you're watching this video uh i don't know why you would be watching this video if you weren't looking for a way to win more combat mission so uh like i said in my previous video this is like a, a rush type of um, game mode. So if they do plant the objective, you, they are going to keep progressing 
uh, towards the back and all the way to the back of the map until they get the final one. Now, the thing about, you know, just staying with your team, sticking with your team uh, while you're in this predicament is that so that, you know, the enemies don't stand a chance. And that's one thing that really bugs me, especially when I play games, especially like this, uh, because there's usually groups and groups of people in combat mission. Like, you don't usually just see one person unless they're sniping. And, you know, they, they all push up as a team and pretty much you're going to get outgunned if you're, if you're running down there and there's like two other people or three other people just rushing up to the objective trying to capture it or uh, arm it. So, you know, just be careful uh, while you defund because, you know, there are, sni like I said, there's snipers, there's stragglers that are all running around. Sometimes people I've seen on the offensive side, they want to be sneaky and just go behind our spawn and start killing all of us and stuff, giving a distraction in which they can ha go ahead and have their teammates go ahead and arm the objective. And that's a really big distraction. And that's one thing you guys need to be careful of. Uh, because y you can be caught off guard. Trust me, it's happened a couple times to me. Where, you know, there's a couple of people just sitting by our spawn trying to kill us down. And, you know, that's what I was saying. That's why I like to play. I just like to push the enemies all the way back so they don't reach the objective. Uh, because that's not, our, not where I want them to be at. Now, as you guys can tell, my favorite class is the Rifleman. Now, like I said, class setup is pretty much optional. I'm not going to be forcing you guys to go use a specific class because um, pretty much you do whatever you want in this game. Uh, I don't want to force you guys to do anything. I'm just giving you guys tips and tricks on how to get better. You see, how I, there's a tank right here. The, the worst thing you want to do against the tank is go ahead and up front. And I, I got lucky I didn't get detected by it, so he kind of went right past me. But... You know, class setups are very important. Um, it's really up to you. Whatever fits your play style the best, whatever fits you the most that you're most comfortable with. And I almost had a three-piece until somebody steals it. Wow. But whatever class you are comfortable with, please use it. And it'll really benefit your team a lot. Um, if you're a really good sniper, you know you could take out all the bad guys down near the objective. And, you know, hit the sniper class. Really good. Uh, if you're really good at taking out stuff like um, the tanks. Uh, if you're good at, you know, RPGing the objective so nobody gets near it. If you're good at just getting up in the enemy's face, then the Spec Ops class is definitely going to be something that you'd be interested in. And if you're a person like me who likes mid-range engagements, then you're going to be preferring the Rifleman class. Uh, I really prefer the Rifleman class. It really keeps things... Uh, not too much in your face, more in favor of who's in cover, uh, who has better cover, or who's uh, who's has the better advantage over the other. And that's why I really prefer the Rifleman class. But like I said, everything is optional here. Now, the last thing I really want to cover about this map is just how, you know, different this map is compared to the other two maps that I'm going to be reviewing. This map is really, really huge. Um, But the other two maps are going to be a little huger and do have a lot of issues and how you want to you know push up to the objective but this map is kind of brief i really do enjoy this map uh you know you just push up and push up cover push up cover but some of the other maps have issues with that and i'm going to be describing that to you guys because it is going to be very very difficult to push up and you know, you got to be careful just choosing, you know, choose your engagements wisely, guys. Don't just go in balls you think you're going to kill everybody because it's not going to happen, especially in this game. Uh, I've tried to, you know, be like the beast player, but, you know, it really doesn't work, honestly. So, and I was so mad. I'm three off the missile strike. And the game's almost over. And I'll just like, wow, I, I'm honestly not even going to get this. So, you know, I kind of just gave up right here. Uh, I just said, hey, you know, the game's almost over. We've won. Uh, we defended this pretty well, and I was pretty proud of my team. So I hope you guys really did enjoy some of the tips I gave you. A lot of this was covered in the offensive, but I kind of just revised it into the defensive way of this game mode. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy. We did a very good job of keeping them down and uh yeah the next map we're going to be doing as you guys can see there is going to be Mas. i don't even know how to pronounce it mazar e sheriff airfield so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed uh i'll see you guys next time be safe see you later